Good morning. Uh, we have got a lot to do. It is finally the end of harvest and we've got corn to transfer out of the wet bin to our dry bins at home, top them off. We've got equipment to move around, equipment to get ready, tillage equipment, strip to a barn needs the meters put in, things like that. Um, maybe run around and stand up some stand pipes in the fields, put some new ones in that dad may have put through the combine. Basically, we just got a lot of grunt work to do before we actually get into the field and start tilling. We got about, I don't know, an inch of rain or so, maybe three quarters of an inch this last weekend, right after, well, as we were harvesting, as you saw in the last video. And so we got a little time. We'd probably be running today, maybe tomorrow, but there's just work to do. Okay, now that we've officially made it to the farm, Dad has decided to take the baby truck to a shop downtown because the ECM or the bulkhead or something like that, the, the computer is going nuts and the flashers are turning on for some reason. So we gotta get that fixed. So we're gonna be taking that to town today and I'll, I'll be picking them up. But other than that, we're just gonna be getting stuff put away. There he is uh, getting an auger put away. Yeah. Actually, bring it back just a little more. Can't wait to clean all that up. <laughs> Well, we we're off to drop the baby truck off and it would stop hissing at me if uh, I didn't have the trailer brake disengaged with no trailer on it. Okay, after a very long day of shopping for much needed parts for the Kenworth and the baby truck, we're finally back home. Right now we're gonna take the corn head off of the combine because we've still got it on just in case somebody needs help. Hey. Pretty much everybody's getting done around us now, so we should be okay to take it off. But we're gonna get that off, and I'm gonna blow the combine out, and while I'm doing that, he's gonna go move the head over to another shed and get it put away for the season. These backup cameras are nice and all until you can't see. Corn head is off, it's headed to the other shed. Now it's my job to blow the combine off. Always a fun job.
Truck nuts? That's done. Time to put it away. Doesn't get any more beautiful -er than that. Unfortunately, it gets dark at five o'clock and the shed where the combine needs to go and all the tillage equipment needs to come out of has no lights. So we're just gonna wait to do that in the morning. We've really kind of uh, exhausted everything we can do around here other than transferring some corn into bins. And then we should be ready for tillage. Morning. Uh, here's what we got going on today. Yesterday, I was not here. I had family business to attend to. So I'm assuming my dad got the combine put away, got all the fall tillage equipment out of the sheds, ready to get worked on or ready to go. And we should be able to today hop into a piece of equipment, start tilling some ground. About 2,500 or so. It might fit all in here. He had stuff really packed in here, which is good. Great job, but uh, the strip till parts that we need are back there on the pellet rack. So now we gotta move all this stuff out. <laughs> anyway, what we were doing there on the dryers, we're basically just getting all the corn out of the dryer, just put into the bin. We gotta clean up around on the concrete there and stuff like that and get it spread into a bin. But other than that, the, the grain transferring is done. The bins are all full. We should be done with handling grain. He's just grabbing a pallet, putting it on the genie so that we can transfer all the parts we do need for the ship to bar onto that pallet, get it over to the shop. I believe the agenda for today is get the strip till bar ready, get the meters and stuff like that, the meter rolls on the bottom, get that, those all put in, and then we'll run around, stand up some stand pipes in the fields. That way, when we do decide to start ripping and things like that, we don't accidentally tear out some tile holes, so that would be bad. back this up to the shop start putting it together hopefully i'll be sitting in this machine for the next couple of weeks anyway okay so we're gonna be shoving the meters back in here we gotta drop all this stuff make sure it's all put back up there for the fertilizer to run through and get this bad boy running I think these dryers are empty now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and shut these down. No reason. 
reason to have them running, just making noise. Dad and I have decided, while it's still daylight out, that we're gonna go stand up a few standpipes. That's not doing so good. <laughs> That's better. Are you cross threaded? No. Well, that ain't threaded on where the door is. Can't hold the wrench, can you? Ready? Yep. Tight. Yep. Beautiful. Yeah, Dad and I have pretty much got the strip till bar ready to go for tomorrow. We just got to hook some lines up on the back of the tractor. Just dump a little bit of fertilizer in, make sure the meters are gonna work. Those are all brand new stainless steel meter housings and stuff like that. We gotta make sure we put it together correctly. Hopefully tomorrow, we'll be running the strip toe bar. Get that going, we got a lot of ground to cover. It needs to get in the field. Okay, good morning. It is time to do some strip soon. We're gonna start with the 50 acres around our house with this strip toe bar, make sure everything's gonna run. We're only gonna put a little bit of fertilizer in for now, make sure the meters are gonna be working correctly and just make sure the whole bar is gonna function. Once we get that done, we'll go ahead and fill the rest of the car. We're gonna set up all new maps. We just we just switched to RTK GPS, which is the, it's like sub inch accuracy. We were running SF2 before, but now we're gonna be running that. So we wanna make all new maps, make sure it's all ready for next year, ready for the planner. The fifth one goes on four. The five goes to four. Yes. And the four goes to three. Uh, yes. Okay. Well, should be good. Watch up the here. He's going to go ahead and pull that out, get it unfolded, because it has a billion grease jerks on it. We're going to go ahead and get nine tons of the stuff that we have pre-mixed over at our local fertilizer place. We're getting MAP, potash, which is potassium, putting a little bit of sulfur in, and that's all going into the strips for our primary macronutrients for the corn and soybeans. 1330 flex coil cart with the Orthman one tripper. That's our setup. They haven't come yet with, this, with the fertilizer tender to fill the cart, but we may as well get it all ready to be able to get loaded. That way when they do come, it's just a lot quicker. I was not close, not even remotely, I couldn't remember. We're ready to go.
So we just put a little bit in for now, just to make it down and back across the field. We want to make sure this works before we fill it, because then we got a lot of mess to clean up if we got to pull those meters and stuff like that. Hopefully it's all put together correctly, and it's just going to run with no problems. Well, we don't have any GPS signal. It would help if we took the Starfire globe off of the combine and put it on the tractor. have him do a tank charge make sure all the products coming out of the tubes all looks beautiful we had some fertilizer coming out where we drove so we were kind of concerned but he's driving now and it's not coming out so I don't know there you go now you're now you're calibrated so you're at 579 and 193 as a low. So it'll now it'll show you if you're too high or too low when you're going across the field. I do think I want to move this up. Just a little bit. Uh, one, one setting. I'm still moving. I'm moving too much dirt out. Yeah. I got to go up with it. I could go to here if I wanted to. If I wanted to. Wouldn't bother me. Almost a full hole. So we're having issues. We really want to be able to see to make sure that the meters are turning. So we're going to fabricate a camera on the side of the strip to bar quickly. Okay, so here's the situation going on. We've got the strip tow bar running, I think. The monitor is not reading any of the sensors, and that's obviously a problem, but we got our camera set up to where I can see the meters running. I just don't know if any product's actually coming out unless I get out and check, which is annoying, but we are running. We've got about probably 15 acres done anyway, 20. It's already dark. Uh, we're gonna keep running and hopefully it's all correct. You can see it turning. That is the meter on the bottom of the cart that feeds the fertilizer to the tube so that the fan can blow it all out to the back. The meter's running. Don't know if anything's plugged. I'm just assuming that it's working. My meter stopped turning. So I gotta figure out what's going on. Typically these pins shear and it stops turning the meter, but they're fine. Oh, well that's a first. There should be something here sticking in between this so this moves back and forth. Like that there. So the back tank is still half full. I thought I emptied it. Oh. I think I'm done for the night. I need parts and a monitor. Well, I am on my way to go get a scale because we need to calibrate that cart. We should have done it before we started. We figured it'd be okay because it was calibrated the year before and was working fine. That's not the case. Looks like we're here. Front row parking, look at that. 